Uh, good evening, everyone. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Jeremy Pockel, and I'll be your best lady for the evening. Um, I'm not much of a public speaker, so I'll try to make this short and sweet. Uh, Amanda and I have known each other since June 19th, 1985. Um, we've taught each other a couple things. We've learned from each other along the way. I think we first officially became brother and sisters um, when I was about one year old. I knew I wanted to be a baseball player, but I didn't have a bat or a ball yet. The only things that I could find were a glass bottle filled with milk and my sister sleeping on the couch. Uh, before she could wake up, I swung my bat just like Paul Molitor and I connected, knocking my sister out of the park. So thanks Amanda for teaching me how to hit home runs. And you're welcome for teaching you that you shouldn't sleep where one year old can reach. <laughs> she brought me to my first college party. <laughs> where I got a glimpse of what, what life was like outside of mom and dad's house. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> there were girls everywhere. I took my first beer bong. I took my first shot of tequila. I took my second beer bong. And I got sick for the first time. But after I got sick, there was big sis taking care of me. You know, making sure that I was all right, teaching me how to pray to the porcelain gods. I remember the first time I saw Jim. It wasn't in person, it was in one of Amanda's pictures from college. Um, she thought it was just a picture of her and her friends, but she got the film developed and she had a picture of her, her friends, and some guy in the background. <laughs> My sister showed me the picture and she pointed out Jim's head popping up in the back. And she told me she was going to marry this guy just because she liked his big blue eyes. And I was like, whatever, Amanda. But a couple of months later, sure enough, blue-eyed Jim is on family vacation with us to Cancun. So I decided to get to know Jim a little bit on vacation, and where better to do that than a bar in Cancun. I remember Jim slapping a $10 bill in front of the bartender at an all-inclusive resort and saying, two Jack and Cokes and keep them coming. I don't remember a whole lot from that night other than Jim likes Jack and Cokes and Mexican bartenders really like $10 bills. Since then, I've spent a lot of time with uh, Jim and Amanda. We've gone fishing, we've yelled at the brewers. Our pontoon ran out of gas on the lake and we had to be rescued by Jay Poplin. And I even got to shoot Jim a couple weeks ago with paintballs. I had the pleasure to be your guys' roommate for a while and really got to see how much you guys compliment each other. Amanda likes to yell at Jim, Jim likes to be yelled at by Amanda. It's, it's like you guys are already married, so this should be an easy transition. A couple of words of advice for Jim is, Amanda's always right, just accept it. She doesn't like it when your friends come over after baseball games and shove dirty socks in her mouth. And don't even think about going into the bathroom in the morning unless you get approval first. No, but seriously, I couldn't ask for a better sister. I always wanted a brother. And Amanda, I wouldn't trade you for anyone. If I had to choose a brother, I'd pick a guy like Jim. Congratulations to the both of you, and Jim, welcome to the family, brother. Well, I'm sure you're all ready to party. You probably don't want to listen to me anymore, so let's pass the mic to, over to the best man. And everyone enjoy the night. Thank you.
how's everything going tonight here? Oh, man. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. That was really, really good. 